Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the books that I plan on unhauling from my library. Also sorry for the uh, ring light glare on my glasses, it is what it is, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to tilt my head maybe a little bit. Uh, my next pair needs to be like those blue light glasses. Um, so you can't have the reflection. In January, I had to move back home with my parents due to medical reasons. Um, and so we had to move all of my books from my apartment here into this one room in their house. Um, and I have multiple shelves in here other than just these two. Um, and there's going to be probably like a bookshelf tour or bookshelf reorganization video coming soon that you can watch or it's already up. I don't know when this video is going out. Whenever you do go through books and everything, you come across ones that you don't necessarily want anymore. So that's what happened here. There are multiple books that I was just like, I don't need these for my collection and I don't see why I'm keeping them. So let's unhaul them. So I have kind of like groupings for this video. First, I'm gonna talk about all of the book of the month books. And then I have um, books that I've read that I don't want anymore and books that I haven't read that I don't want anymore. And then there's also books that I've DNF'd that I don't want anymore. So let's get into those books. First, we're gonna talk about the many books that uh, book of the month sent me that don't necessarily fit my vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I am primarily a romance reader. So I've kept their romance books that they've sent me, but uh, everything else I am not in the mood for. I've actually given quite a few of these to my grandma because a lot of them are more her speed, like murder mystery, mystery books, you know? So I'm gonna talk about real fast the books that I'm not interested in that are from book of the month. So they're like these pretty, additions and like they're gorgeous and they all have like they all are the same size and everything will look beautiful on shelves i know that olivia from olivia Rizzolatte like has like a whole shelf of just her book of the month books and so like i get the appeal of wanting them on your shelves but i don't necessarily have space for them i don't have space for books that i'm probably never gonna read so hopefully i can maybe get some money when i sell them to half price books but i'm so incredibly grateful and thankful that book of the month sent these to me but they're not necessarily books that I am going to read. So anyway, first one we have um, Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds. I've heard a bunch about Kristen Hanna, but I'm just not into um, this genre right now. I think it's historical fiction. I'm just not into it right now, especially if it's in America, because I'm very bored by American history. I also thought it was funny, like I gotta get rid of this because there's wheat on the cover and like wheat will kill me being a celiac here so I thought that was really funny um next is razor blade tears just it's just an adult fiction book I'm not into adult fiction I need I, I personally need romance um a romance book from book of the month that I don't want anymore is one to watch by um Kate Stamen London just because I haven't heard great things about this and I don't really see the appeal to this book um with like the whole bachelor aspect and everything and I heard that like the guy she chooses, it isn't even on the show or something like that. And so like, I don't see the point in this romance for me to keep it. Um, it has zero appeal to me. And if it, if I do want to read it, I know that my Libby has the audiobook. So next is We Are the Brennans, which is a general fiction story. Again, not really my speed, my genre. Same with The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. I'm probably butchering his last name. I don't know. Um, I've heard great things about this book. I think this is like a murder mystery book or a mystery book of some sort. Again, it's not my vibe. <laughs> I don't read mystery books. I actually dislike mystery books a lot. Even though I love mystery shows, mystery books are not it for me. Next is Imposter Syndrome by Kathy Wang. I don't even know what this is about, but I know it's not a romance. So out of the house we go. Um, same with The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Is it Dare or Dave? I don't know. It's an R or a V. I am not sure. Um, but yeah, this is not my genre. Historical fiction, Sisters in Arms by Kaya Alderson. I don't think there's a romance in here. Sky Falling by Mia McKenzie. Again, probably no romance in here. Like if it's not fully marketed as a romance book, it's out, unfortunately. Like it just, I am not in the mood. And if ever I do feel the urge to pick these up, again, I have Libby or other services I can rent a book from, you know. In a book club far away by Tiff Marcello. That's probably just a general fiction book. And then I heard that this is like marketed as a romance, Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers, but it's not actually romance. Like that's what I've heard from people that like this book let a lot of people down because it's not actually a romance book, even though it was marketed as such. So I don't want to go through all that because I hate reading books that are marketed as romance and then they turn out not to be. 
I hate it. Next is How Lucky by Will Leach. And then there's uh, Things We Lost to the Water by Eric Wynn. The People We Keep by Alison Larkin is another one I'm getting rid of. 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. Um, I'm getting rid of this one. I think this is like a murder mystery quarantine during COVID novel. Don't really want to read about COVID, honestly. <laughs> I love this cover so much, but I know I'm never gonna read this book. This is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This is gorgeous. I just, I know I'm never gonna read it. I can't keep it. I have limited shelf space here, okay? Everything is like double stacked already, okay? <laughs> Another cute cover is Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Manasala, Manasala. I'm really bad at pronouncing things, I'm so sorry. Um, but I think this is a cozy mystery, um, but the cover is so cute. I love the dog on here, but can't just keep a book because of its cover. Outlawed by Anna North is another one I'm getting rid of. Looks like a Western novel. And then we have the last three from Book of the Month. We have The Prophets by Robert Jones Jr. This Close to Okay by Lisa Cross Smith. Like this would look like a romance book, but I, I think people said it's not one. So whatever, I might look into that one again, but. And then lastly from Book of the Month that I'm getting rid of is The Removed by Brandon Hobson. Again, I'm very grateful that Book of the Month sent those books to me, but like they sent like five a month for a couple months and they start to build up. Like not every book that they send you is going to be one that you like. Um, that's why for like Book of the Month, you like pick out the one you want the most. So unfortunately, these were not ones that I personally wanted to read, but I'm eternally grateful that they sent them to me. I just... Hope they find a better home. Hopefully with someone that will actually read them instead of them just sitting on shelves. <laughs> so the next grouping of books are all books that I have not read yet that I don't want, that have zero appeal to me anymore. First is Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. My friend Aspatia over at Asparagus is reading. I believe she read this book and she did not like it. And so I really trust her opinion. And like, this has been sitting on my shelves for over five years. And I'm like, why keep it? I don't feel like I'm gonna like this. So yeah, it's a YA story um, about our heroine who's a hot dog, dressed as a hot dog at like a carnival. And like, I think like she likes the popular guy, but the popular guy likes this other girl. And then this other person likes the hot dog girl or something like that. I don't know, I'm not interested in it anymore. Next is a True Born by L.E. Sterling. This uh, was my sister's book that she didn't want anymore. And so she gave me a bunch of her books for like my future classroom. Um, but I have zero appeal for this and I don't feel like it needs to be put in my classroom, so. Next is Starry Nights by Isabel Gillies. After reading this book so many times, I remember getting it when it first came out in 2014, 2014. And um, every time I tried to read it, I hated it, so. It's beautiful to look at, not interested in it's a YA and YA is not really my thing anymore, but this is gorgeous. Like this book is gorgeous. Hopefully it finds a better home than my home. Next is Safe Harbor by Danielle Steele. Um, I think I got this for free um, somewhere. I got it as a free book. I'm just not interested. I know Danielle Steele is like a staple in the romance world, but I don't think she writes like steamy stuff and like that's what I read. Next is another free book that I got. It's called Meant for Each Other by Lee Duran. I've tried reading this book multiple times. Didn't work out, wasn't in the mood. I got this book, um, The Duchess of Windsor, The Secret Life of the Duchess of Windsor by Charles Hy Hyam, Hyam, Hyam. <laughs> um, it even has like a little step back here. I got this in my historical romance mystery box that I unboxed from eBay um, a couple years ago and zero appeal to me whatsoever. Next is If He's Sinful by Hannah Howell. I got a mystery bag of historicals at my local small bookstore here by my parents' house and this was in the bag. I've read a Hannah Howell and hated it and so I don't really ever want to pick up another one of her books honestly so this is going in the unhaul pile. Then we have A Beast by Don and Joe Napoli. I got this book years ago. Um, whenever the movie Beastly came out, when I was like young, young middle school age, um, I read the book, loved it. And ever since I watched the movie, I was like, I need every single Beauty and the Beast retelling ever made. And so I found this at a Barnes and Noble or something. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. 
I've had this since I was literally maybe 13. 10 years, 10 years. Zero appeal, I've never wanted to pick it up ever, so. I'm getting rid of it. Next, I have uh, Turn Up the Heat by Lori Foster, um, Christy Ridgeway, and Victoria Dahl. I think this is like a bind up of three stories by them. Lori Foster is front and center, which is probably the most popular author out of the three, but um, I got this for free out of the discard pile for my local library. Um, so, um, and I have the zero appeal for it. Like, I don't know why I picked this up. And then I also have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I'm slowly getting rid of this, even though I haven't read it yet, because I have the beautiful Barnes & Noble edition. And so I don't need this little mass market paperback edition. So um, I am going to be getting rid of this one because I have a duplicate copy. The next two are books that I didn't finish. I DNF them because I hated it so much. So first is Heartless by Kat Martin. I hated this. There's even a vlog for me hate reading this book on my channel. I'll link it down below if I remember. I hated this so stinking much. Every single character was horrible. I have nothing else to say. If you want to know my, more of my thoughts, that's their vlog down below. Next is Her Texas Cowboy by Jill Lynn. Um, I honestly don't remember anything about this book, but I remember despising it when I was reading it. I was like, why am I reading this? This is dumb. So the last group of books are all books that I have read that I just don't want anymore. First is Till Death by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is her romantic suspense book. Um, I read it because it's a JLA book, you know? I completely hated this. Like I, this is like the spark for me hating romantic suspense books. It just is. So I did not like this. I don't recommend it either. <laughs> Next is After Hours Seduction by Janice Maynard. Didn't like this one either. Um, there's a like a weekend vlog that I read this book in where I talked about how this book was just so dumb. I know I'm being very negative and I hate being negative, but that's kind of like what an unhaul is. Like you didn't like these books. You don't want these books. So you're gonna be negative, unfortunately. The Last Viking by Sandra Hill. I have a vlog for this on my channel too. Did not love it, unfortunately. Like look how cool this cover is. Like it's a Viking romance. I want to love Viking romances. Almost every single Viking romance I have despised. And like this one was just so dumb. Like this Viking travels back in time, uh, no travels forward in time and doesn't describe like how it happened or anything like that. Like I, it was confusing. So even though I love this cover and how hot it is, I will not be keeping it. Next is Claimed by L. Kennedy. This was a meager three star read that I just don't feel like having anymore. Like it was three stars. Why am I keeping it in my collection? Um, didn't really care for it all that much. This is a post-apocalyptic romance, which I normally love those, but this was just not it. And it was my first L. Kennedy. I'm like nervous to pick up anything else by L. Kennedy now. Next is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. This was like a eh romance. So I'm not keeping it. Like I'm not keeping romances on my shelves that I don't adore and love that I've already read, you know? Next is The Improbable Theory of Anna and Zach by Brian Catcher. Uh, this is a YA book that I read years ago that I remember nothing about. So why keep it in my collection? <laughs> Next is Passion on Park Avenue by Lauren Lane. This is the one out of this whole stack that I'm like iffy on because like I liked it, but I don't know if I'd ever reread it. Like I think I gave it like a 3.5 or a four star. Like it was okay, but I don't know if I'd ever reread it. I don't own the other books in the series either. I don't know. This is one I might come back to. Uh, I don't know. Then we have The Forbidden by Jody Ellen Malpass. This is a romance book that I read. I have tabbed it up. Um, I don't remember anything about this book. And if I remember correctly, it has to do with cheating in some form or fashion or something like that. And I didn't like love it. It did not get over four stars from me. And if I don't remember a romance book, like why would I keep it in my collection back there? Like I don't, I wouldn't. So that's why this is in this stack. And lastly is one of my most disappointing reads ever. To Happen to Hoax by Martha Waters. Y'all, I was so looking forward to this book when it came out, but unfortunately it fell flat. Like it's supposed to be like a romance about a husband and wife who aren't really together anymore, kind of like playing pranks on each other. And that just wasn't it. It was not marketed correctly, honestly, it was not. And so I was really let down. I love this cover though. Like I love it, but I did not love book inside unfortunately so there you have it those are all the books that i plan on unhauling that i do not want anymore sorry for being a negative nelly 
I'm normally not like this, but like these are just books that I don't want anymore. And so it's not going to be anything really positive for me to say. So, um, but yeah, let me know down below if, um, you want me to read any of these books. I don't know if I'll still have them by the time this video goes up. Um, if you've made it this far, leave me a book stack emoji. Uh, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.